Hello everyone, Teeny here. I hope your day is going wonderful. I'm so glad you're joining me. Well, today we are using the Simon Says Stamp November 2024 card kit. We're making two cards. The cards that we're making look like shaker cards. Um, but you know what? They have special features to each one of them. One of them, we're going to be creating an easel card. The other one, we're going to be creating a card that's a gift also. We're going to turn the front decoupage piece into a magnet. So it would be great for gift giving this holiday season. Um, I did mention that we're making shaker cards, so we are going to bring in a few extra items like Simon Says Stamp acetate and some foam tape and then something to fill in the shakers with. But the rest is the kit. The nice thing about the decoupage is it comes with its own foam squares, which is really nice. We'll be using those for layering. If you guys are new and uh, to decoupaging, what decoupage does is it, it stacks layers of one image. So this one here has five layers. With This is actually the one we're going to use for our first card. We has a cute little snowman. So this snowman set has the whole background. This one here has, this is layer two, so you have all four snowmen. And then this one has three snowmen. And then it just slowly graduals until you have your final layer, which is the fourth layer, or the fifth layer, which is the little, little book here. But it creates a really neat dimensional outcome. These are great for window boxes or photo boxes. Um, Decoupage is great for so many things, and especially for gift giving. So I thought an easel card today and, um, and a magnet would go perfect. So we're going to be using this one. I'm going to go ahead and punch out each of the layers, and then we're going to get started. I went ahead and punched out each one of my elements. Some of them are a little bit delicate. You want to be careful, like the snowman's arm here. You want to be really careful when punching these out. And I kept them on the sheet because it has the layers here. And then this way I can tell you what layers that I'm using. So I'm going to put this to the side and we're going to work on our shaker element for our decoupage. First I'm bringing in a piece of white cardstock and my oval die set. These are the Simon Says Stamp stitched ovals. I'm going to take the second to the largest and I'm going to cut out a window. And then I'm also going to bring in some Simon Says Stamp acid clear acetate sheets. I'm going to trim down a piece of acetate to fit behind the window. Okay, and then I will run this through my die cut machine and I'll be right back. I went ahead and created my oval frame. While it was added, I created two more oval frames, but this time I used pop-up foam. This is not necessarily, if you have foam tape, you could use that, but I think the stability that this offers is just better, especially if you're going to make an easel card. But, but you don't have to. You could use just regular foam tape. Okay, and then I did trim down my acetate. What we're going to do first is take this, bring in our embossing folder, and we are going to emboss this, give this a little bit of texture. So I will put this in my embossing folder, run this through my die cut machine, and we'll have some stars on our background. I went ahead and embossed my background window frame. I love how dainty this looks. While I was at it, I also created two frames using the same oval die with pop-up foam. Now I'm using pop-up foam rather than foam tape just to make it a little bit easier, but if you wanted to use foam tape, I would double up on the foam tape um, to create the shaker element. We're going to flip over our window panel. I'm going to add some adhesive behind here and we're going to tack down a piece of acetate that I trimmed out. Okay, and then I also took my main image here and I tacked it down to a piece of cardstock. It's not centered and I just wanted to make sure that I have all three snowmans in my window. So that's why it's not centered. Okay, so this is just on a regular A2 panel. I'm going to use my tape runner next. I'm going to add some adhesive. Okay, and before we add our foam, I'm going to create a snowbank because this bottom section here, um, let me show you. You can see the bottom section here. My oval is a little bit longer than my square panel. So just to fix that, I'm just taking a piece of white cardstock 
and I'm going to create a snowbank. It doesn't just a little wonky snowbank here. If you have a border die, you could use that, but I think freehanding it's just as nice. We're going to go ahead and add a little snowbank on the inside of the window. Okay. You want to make sure that it's covering up the bottom of your panel, but I think that's going to work out great. Now I'm going to add a little more adhesive, and then I'm going to tack down one of my foams, okay, and then I'll add some glue. I'm going to add my second layer here. Wonderful. So this is how thick it is so far. Okay, I'm going to take a couple, um, I'm going to take some foam tape and I'm going to put some strips on that snowbank. Now I'm doing this because when I add my sequins, I don't want it to fall all the way to the bottom. This is just going to prevent those sequins from falling now we're going to build our layers, so I'm taking the foam squares that came with the kit. We'll just open these up. Okay, and we're going to add some foam squares behind this layer here. Now I'm not going to add any foam squares that are outside of my my image here. So my lantern, I'm not going to add any foam squares to. Now I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it, I'm going to layer it right over, right over this layer here. Now we're going to go ahead and fill our shaker with some shaker bits. So I do want a little sparkle, so I'm going to be using my Simon Says Stamp Unicorn Confetti. And I just want to add a little bit. And then I'm also going to bring in my Simon Says Stamp Assorted Moonshine Sequins. These are clear sequin mix. I'm just going to add some in the back here. Now I'm going to add a glue. Okay, and then I'm going to bring my back panel to the front of my shaker. Now this part here is going to smush in along with this snowman's hand, it's going to smoosh in because only this section is going to be inside that window. So we're going to layer this, give it a good press. Nice thing about the glue is you have some time to adjust. We'll just press that down. And we have a little bit of dimension in there so far, but we're going to add more to the front of it. Now what we're going to do is take our next layer. We're going to put some foam tape behind here. This time I can add it behind all of the elements. Okay, we'll take this and we're just going to layer it right over our existing snowman. You see how dimensional this is? It looks so wonderful. Okay, now we have one more layer. Let's add this snowman here. This one goes right here. And then we have these two layers. Now I went ahead and add it's my second layer four, which is the lantern. This is layer four, layer four. And then we have our carols that we add to this snowman, layer five. And look at the dimension that this has. You may want to use a bigger envelope than an A2 for this card, maybe a 5x7 because of all the bulk. But isn't that so cute? Now we want to do a little bit of coloring. So I'm going to bring in my stamp set. I'm going to stamp the banner. And then also the leaves with the holly too. There's two of them in here. We'll, we'll stamp these as well. I'm 
I'm going to be using my Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. Let's go ahead and stamp this. Beautiful. I'm going to stamp the greeting that says Happy Holidays, and I'm also going to stamp the greeting for my next card. This is Have a Merry Little Christmas. We're going to stamp this and get our stamping done all at once. I'm going to just ink this up, both of these up with my black ink once more. Okay. That is wonderful. Now Simon Says Stamp does have the coordinating dies that will cut out these images, but I'm gonna fussy I'm gonna color these in and I'll fussy cut them out just to save a little bit of time and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and colored in my banner. I just added a little bit of teal. And then I colored in my holly and berries. Now this is our greeting for our next card, and I just just trimmed it into a rectangle, but I left the left side um, with more extra paper room because we're going to create a tag out of this. So if you trim out your greeting, you want to make sure that you have a, um, a little extra room on the left here. Finished up here, we're going to add some foam tape behind here. I'm going to tack it down. I'm going to tack it down just under the snowman here. And I'm going to have some of my holly going up the sides. I think that would look really cute. Okay, so so this is the front of our card. We have some shake. Okay, but we need a card base to attach this to. So what we're going to do is take a top folding A2 size card base. I'm going to bring in my Salmon Says Stamp scoreboard. I'm going to place this inside my scoreboard and we're going to score at two and three quarters okay and then I'm going to fold this section up like so I'm going to use my bone folder I'm going to reinforce that score line Okay, so this is what it looks like from the side. If you fold it down, all you're doing is folding this up, okay? And then I have two half inch strips of cardstock. We're gonna add some adhesive behind here. I'm gonna add it an inch up from the bottom. And this doesn't have to be precise. I'm not even using a measure tool, but I'm, I'm estimating about an inch up. I have two strips. We're just gonna stack these together. You see, so we have that little edge here, and that's just going to create the easel portion of our card. Okay, I'm going to use my glue. I'm going to add it here at the very top of that fold. Okay, and then I'm going to take my shaker, and then all you do is tack this down at the very top. Give it a good press. Okay, now give it a second to adhere. This is what it looks like, kind of funny, but what you can do is when the recipient opens it, it will create an easel. Let me show you, show you. And it will stop on that. So if you want this to stand up a little bit higher, you would move this bar closer up here, but you want a little bit of room for a message. So one inch from the bottom, I think it's perfect. And it literally stands up on its own. And our little decoupage can be showcased beautifully. Okay, so that is our decoupage easel card. Super fun. And again, you may need a bigger envelope for this, but it stands up beautifully for the recipient to see. So much fun. Okay, it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it does stand up so nicely. Now we do need some bells and whistles, so I'm bringing in some of my Christmas red stickles, and I'm going to go over the berries to give these a little sparkle. 
And then I'm going to bring in a few more of my assorted moonshine sequins and we're going to add some around our image as well. And then I'm also going to do one last thing. I'm going to bring in my Spellbinders glazing glue and I'm going to go over the nose of my snowman to give them a little bit of a shine and dimension. And then lastly, I'm going to bring in our twine that came in the kit and I'm going to wrap it around here at the top and I'm going to tie a bow to the left here. Wonderful. And then to keep my ends of the twine from fraying, I'm going to bring in my craft tacky glue. I'm going to put a little bit on my finger here. And I'm just going to roll the ends in that glue. And when it dries, it's going to prevent the baker's twine from fraying. But if you like the frayed look, you can actually keep it. That way it won't fray. And that is my card. Super fun card. That is an easel card. I think this will look cute on anybody's desk. It's kind of a gift in itself with all those layers. Okay, we're going to jump into our next card that's also a gift. For my next card, I have my double stitched rectangles. Um, these are from Simon's Stamp. And I'm going to take the two largest and I'm going to create a window frame with this. And then I'll take another piece of white cardstock and I'm going to create a background also with this. And then I have some pale blue cardstock. We are going to run this through our embossing folder and we'll add some stars to this background. So we'll create a background, a frame, and we'll emboss and I will be right back. I do want to mention that the largest die in the Simon Says Stamp Stitched Rectangles will, let me grab my decoupage sheet. We're going to using, we're going to be using this decoupage sheet, the one that has hot chocolate, but it does fit behind here almost perfectly. Okay, so if you have, you don't have to have a stitch die. You just want to make sure you have a square die or a square panel that will fit this. Okay, and then these are layer four. So we have three layers that we're going to add to this, okay? Which I'm going to tack down to that background right now. We'll just add some glue. Now I'm counting the layers because when we add the foam tape, this is how many layers high we need our, our shaker to be for this card, okay? The reindeer's legs are really delicate, so when you punch them out, you want to be really careful with those delicate legs. We'll put this to the side. Now I'm going to take some foam tape and I'm going to layer it three times and I'm going to put it around my frame here. So I have three layers. This is the de this is the depth that we're going to have. So it's dimensional, but not it's not too bad for a card. To create the three layers, you would just take your favorite foam tape. Um, I'm this is this is Simon's. Let me show you with Simon's. Um, I don't want to waste too much, but I want to show you. You just would fold it in half. Of course, the length of your your um, your shaker, and then you'd remove the release paper off of that half, and then you would add one more layer, and then that would be a three-layer thick foam tape. If you're using Simon's foam tape, what you would do next is cut it in half, and then you would put it along the edge. Okay. Now we're going to do our decoupage. We're going to take our first layer. We're going to put foam tape behind here and then we're going to pop it up and put it over here. Okay, we just flip it around and we layer this right over the existing layer. This is layer two. Now we're going to take layer three and we're going to add foam tape behind here and do the same thing. And then these are layer four. We're going to do the same thing. Put some foam tape behind here. Okay, now I'm going to fill up my shaker window, we're going to use the same elements that we used for our first card, but I'm going to use a little bit more this time. Okay, I'm going to take my decoupage panel, I'm going to flip it over, and this should nestle perfectly inside of my shaker. 
line it up and give it a good press. Okay. We got a lot of glitter in there, but give it a good tap. We have a cute little shaker scene that's three dimensional. Okay, we're going to put this to the side and now we're going to work on our background. I have our blue cardstock that we embossed. I'm also going to take a piece of white cardstock and we're going to emboss, but this time on the, um, we're going to add a little bit of color. So I'm going to bring in my red ink. I'm going to be using my Pink Fresh Studio Red Candy Apple ink. And I'm going to go over my stars here. I have a few streaks here, but we're only going to need a two inch strip. So I think we're going to get, we can get away with it. I'm going to take my white cardstock, we're going to place it in here, and then I'm going to run this through my die cut machine. I'll be right back. Okay, let's take a look. Wonderful. Okay, now these this is where the streaks are. So what I'm going to do is take my paper trimmer and I'm going to trim down a two inch strip. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use my scissors and we're going to create a fishtail banner on this bottom edge here. This one's ready to go. I'm also going to bring in my Simon Says Stamp White Premium ink, uh, Pigment Ink and I'm going to make these little stars stand out on the blue with my white pigment ink here. Once we have our blue embossed panel. We're going to go ahead and add this right down the middle. I'll just use my tape runner for this. With this shaker I'm going to bring you back our twine and I'm going to wrap it around in the corner like, a, like it's a gift. Okay and then I'll trim the tails of this so it looks like a gift. I'm going to flip this over and now we're going to add a magnet. I have an adhesive backed magnet but you don't need an adhesive backed to do this. Um, some of Simon's dies will actually come with a magnet you could use that. You would just use double sided adhesive. In fact our kit this month came with the double sided adhesive sheets. You would want to use this if you have a magnet that doesn't have adhesive on the back. Just use your double sided terrific tape that came with the kit. Okay. Um, I'm going to trim, what I like to do is just fold my magnet in half like so and then I will cut it in half and then I trim it. Trim it to fit behind my shaker. Okay. And this is what I do. I remove the release paper off of one side and then, and then I place this on the back of my shaker. Give it a good press. Okay, and then I remove the release paper. Flip it around and then I'm going to take this and tack this down where I want it to go on my card. And I want it to go right here. Then I give it a good press. The foam tape is pretty forgiving so you can press it down really good. Okay, so now we are attached to the card. It's not going nowhere. Okay, but the recipient can remove it and stick their magnet on the fridge. And it's tacked back down. Okay, I have my greeting that we're going to go ahead and create a tag with. So I'm just going to trim away the top corners here and I want to add a, some foam tape behind here. I'm going to tuck it under here and then rather than add sequins to my magnet what I'm going to do is um, bring in the charm that was in our kit this month. I'm going to trim down another small piece of foam tape that will fit behind here. Give it a good press and then I'll remove the release paper and then we can do a faux tuck with this also. And that is our magnet card.
course you'd add a beautiful greeting on the inside. It's not going to go nowhere. Maybe you want to mention on the inside that the, uh, the shaker in the front is actually a, a little magnet you can put on your fridge. A gift in a card. So here's both cards that we made. We made a gift in a card and we made an easel card with the Simon Says Stamp card kit this month. It's called Christmas Cheer. It's for November 2024. I hope this gives you a few ideas on how to use the kit. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you.